imagine this, if every single st- teacher called every single parent at the beginning yep. of the school year and told them good news, told them how excited they were to welcome the students to the class or your student. Um, I know during COVID, just having my uh, child's teacher call and say, hey, right. I'm going to call and check on Jocelyn. Like I was practically in tears. You know, that was just a heavy moment anyway, the, the right. pandemic. But if you call and give good news, you call and establish a relationship, you call and share things before uh, there's a moment of escalation or something, then the parent is more apt to believe you because they already have a connection with you. Right. And so um, I think while that is a reality, uh, a lot of times the teacher is always wrong. I think there are some things that we can do to be more proactive and connect yes. and build a relationship with our with our parents. So I guarantee you somebody's, and this is the way I see this, what you just said, and I think it's so important. Somebody is listening to this and they're going, you know, that's a really great idea, but like, <laughs> I don't have time for this, right? Like I got all this stuff I'm getting ready, blah, blah, blah. And the way that I always see it is, you can take the two minutes now no. mm-hmm. and it's going to save you literally hours later when you have to make a tough one. Right. Or you could, you're, you know, and then it, like, it's always, I always see it as an investment, right? That's mm-hmm. an investment in our kids. It's mm-hmm. and plus like, not like I would rather have, uh, you know, a, a five minute tough phone call that I'm not as stressed out as because I built a relationship with the person right. then an hour long stressful. And then this might go to the superintendent and yes. like all this <laughs> stuff. Right. And it's like, mm-hmm. Oh, like just, mm-hmm. just like, I think that advice is so important, but like mm-hmm. for people listening, it is, it is totally an investment that you will get back. Oh, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And, may, and maybe you'll never, maybe you'll never have a tough phone call. Mm-hmm. And then all you did was make that parent feel good. Mm-hmm. Right. Listen, I'm telling you, it works because even uh, we yeah. uh, it was an initiative of our school district. And just to see, you know, social media, I'm pretty active on pretty much all of the platforms. And so to hear to see parents who are post either a good newsletter or to, right. uh, make a post and say, oh, my God, my, te- my, my child's teacher just called and told me that he was he was good in class today. That just made my day because normally they're calling to tell me that he's not a good kid or telling me what he did wrong and so on and so forth. So it, parents. You know, I uh, I had a, a superintendent a mentor who told me that parents are sending us the best that they have. It's not like they're keeping all the good kids at home. And, just, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and so um, and they, everybody wants what's best for their kid. It's just yeah. many times they just don't have the tools in order to to advocate for them. And so it's so important that as teachers and, you know, teachers always rise to the occasion. And so uh, that's why we try to make sure that we build those relationships again, not just with our students, but also with our with our families. 